I oversee about 60 math and science teachers in three different buildings. I actually began my career as a research scientist. I recognized that I was pretty good at math when I was in high school, but then when I worked at an at-risk youth camp in Danbury, Connecticut, that's when I recognized that this is something that I'm, I'm pretty good at and that this is something that I need to pursue. responsible for training new employees in the experiments and procedures that I was doing in my lab. And it was at that moment that I began to realize and discover how rewarding it was to teach other people. My dad was an engineer and he sat in an office and worked on a computer all day. And I knew I didn't want to be somewhere where I was just in, where I was alone. I was so passionate about science. I'm also a talker. And that was one of the things that I wasn't able to do as a scientist because I was actually working in a lab where it was considered a sterile technique environment. That was a huge piece that I was missing was being able to talk about what I was doing and share what I was doing with others. Coming from those experiences, especially STEM, you'll be able to give all the students that you have the experiential knowledge that it's so it's so valuable and they'll be able to actually connect with that experience so that if they decide to go that route they'll say okay this teacher told me this is how this, this is going to be so i'm i'm more prepared i had a teacher that had worked at ibm for about 30 years and then decided he'd always wanted to teach so he he did and uh and he was fantastic. I specifically remember a middle school science teacher that I had when I was in eighth grade. And I just remember being in his classroom and he gave me such confidence. He would come over and I was terrified to use the scientific equipment. I was nervous about everything. And he came over and he was very gentle, just very soothing and very comforting. And that was the classroom tone and environment that he set. And it made me much more relaxed as a student. It made me feel like, okay, I think I can do this. That's really where my love of science took off. And, and I credit him for that classroom culture and developing those skills and that, that confidence that I needed to kind of move on and say, yeah, I can do this. I don't know what other profession you're going to get where what you do makes as big of a difference. I've had multiple students who have gone on into the medical profession, into uh, nursing careers, um, research scientists themselves. And so whenever you hear those types of stories, it's just, there's no better feeling. So I had a former student who was in a psych research class at college. She wrote a letter to me that she had written specifically about how she learned to gain a voice as a, a female in a science classroom because of the things that she learned in my class. She was inspired to pursue a career in STEM when growing up, she didn't really think that that was an avenue that she could ever consider. I think that speaks volumes to how important it is to have representation in our teaching workforce, to have diverse teachers, um, because students need to see themselves in the curriculum and they need to see themselves in their teachers. You don't just have to be a teacher, right? You don't just have to be about your subject, your grade, your classroom. There are other opportunities for you to uh, branch out within the school building, but also take what you're good at from outside the school building and bring it in so that students can connect with you. Teaching needs highly qualified professionals. So I would just say, if you are someone who really likes kids, you love what you do and you are patient, then, then do it because teachers are needed.